Hi guys, it's Rena. I just want to thank you guys and let you guys know. Um, sorry, I have a, a yellow jacket coming around me and they're very agitated right now because of the heat. So I just want to thank you guys for all of the many, many masks that you have made. Um, Sewing for Native Nations is an organization and up and coming almost official nonprofit. <laughs> and um, our ladies and gentlemen have been making masks for our functions, for our, um, for our children and our elders and our community to be safe for the march for um, residential schools and MMIW, our prayer walk, and for awareness. And I just wanted to thank you and let you guys know how much these are appreciated. This is just one of them. It's, I, I can't even believe this. Between the bags that you all make, the things you do, how selfless you are. I mean, this is one mask and the roses each stand for one person who's missing or murdered. It's missing and mis um, or, mur or murdered flowers. So the orange stands for the residential schools. And you guys have been putting in relentless hours to do this for us. I've got them all separated by size, so I don't want to do too much here to separate them out. But I'm going to tell you guys, you guys made large, extra large. We have a few children. We could use more children. But please check out Sewing for Native Nations. I'll put a link down below. And you can also look at us, look on the internet. We have a secure page there, www.sewingfornativenations.org. We have um, a store there. We have t-shirts. It's all fundraise, all fundraising things for us. Uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts. And right now, here's a little sneak peek. And those are new, by the way, and just were unveiled. But right now, we're also going to be launching, and this is a sneak peek of what I'm, I'm painting. For Grandmother's Calling, along with the one that will be painted tomorrow, and she is right here and has hummingbirds and we'll have grandmothers calling across it. But these are for MMIW and residential schools. Every child matters. And we want to spread awareness. And our wonderful group that does so much so for so many of our native communities, including almost making up to 50,000 masks three layer masks, not even including scrub caps, nothing else. I mean, these people are amazing. Blankets, hats, knitted items, <laughs> crocheted items, donated items. I, I just can't even tell you the, the amount of generosity and beauty I've seen for people from my, my culture. And I, I love each and every one of them. So please thank them down below. They're amazing, amazing, amazing. And Navajo, Navajo and Hopi Relief, they're amazing too. So there's, there's just so much going on. I want to thank you guys. Grandmother's Calling and let you guys know I will take some beautiful pictures and post them below, even though they'll be on my sofa. Thank you, you guys. We need more children's masks. <laughs> oh, yes. And the police department said that they can wear nothing except for <laughs> um, black or green. And maybe we could make the orange or the red on the inside. Just a thought. So... Thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys. There you guys. Thank you, Sewing for Native Nations. And thank you, Grandmother's Calling. By the way, if you haven't already checked it out, go to the website, www.sewingfornativenations, because they help oversee. And once our, our nonprofit staff uh, status is fully approved, we'll be helping to... Um, helping us with many of our organized events to bring awareness and to help preserve our culture in many different ways. So thank you and have a beautiful night.